Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Sunday, July 16th, 2023. Here's the next update for the Super Tunias in, the, in their window boxes here. Uh, haven't been able to film in a while because we had way too much rain, even last weekend, even yesterday. So a lot of damage was done to the flowers from all the rain. So finally, I'm able to get a video in. The last video would have been the 4th of July video. So they are very, very bushy right now, as you can tell. Even after trimming the hedges back, they're touching the hedges again. And I think what's gonna happen here is next week, next weekend, I'm gonna cut everything back for the midsummer reset. And then once I cut everything back, if, if you've seen the videos last year, it's gonna get this big again by, by early September, maybe even sooner. So everything's looking good, not having any problems with insects this year, at least that I've seen up close. I've only sprayed a couple of times, I think three times to be exact, every other week for aphids. Um, so now we'll uh, move on over here to the railing planters, which still I think look the best. And I'm just amazed at how the, um, the bubble gums have just spread everywhere. I mean, they go from one side of the box to the other even though I only put two plants in. I mean, I have one here on the end, one in the middle, and you can find pink all the way over here. And the same thing here, you can find pink going across the whole box, even though it's only two of them. Um, not as many flowers right now. I think, again, it needs to be cut back. There's a lot of growth. It takes a lot of water, a lot of fertilizer. Um, and I'm still trying to dial in the fertilizer injector to make sure they get the most fertilizer. But I have not added any extra fertilizer pellets to the soil like I did last year. So I'm going to change that up. And I'm thinking next year I might actually add more drip emitters. I'll tell you why. So when you see like one of these plants here, let me see if I can get a better angle. So right in there is a drip emitter and it only goes to the base of the plant, but there's roots that spread throughout the whole box. And so I think it's probably better to have more drippers in between each plant to help get all the soil more saturated than it currently is. As you see, a little bird just flew out of its nest right there. <laughs> the birds like to build nests in these boxes. That's what I've noticed too. There's a drip emitter right there. So I'm thinking of next year of having one here and then one here and one there. So we can get more water going into these, uh, into these plants. Um, or I actually might do it this year. If I, if I cut everything back, I might get more access and do that this year. But as you can see, it's just really bushy. They're everywhere, a lot of growth. They're gonna have to be cut back. Last year I did it after 4th of July. This year I'm, I'm waiting longer. So here's the ones here above this window. What you'll notice is these ones have finally grown back for about three weeks. There were no flowers right here because all the growth from the window fell down and covered up all the old flowers. Another thing is the red, the black cherries are really struggling. They have very small flowers. And it was just an experiment, but I learned my lesson. Uh, next year, I'm not gonna be using any of the black cherries. And you know what? I might not even use the bubble gums next year. I'd really like to see some different colors, but the bubble gums are just everywhere. I definitely know I want the blue skies though. They're very nice. So that'll be it for this video. It's just, it's just a quick update, but I'll be cutting them back probably next weekend or the week after next. And they're gonna look a lot different, but plan to have them growing in nice and healthy. So, all right, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.